Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we are here with TC and Red. A highly requested update you guys have been wanting. But first, here's a quick recap. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we are helping Red test her boyfriend's loyalty. Last time I hit you up to help out a friend, I just can't believe I'm sitting here in the same fucking position. Tables have really turned because Red has been on this channel before. But she was just helping out a friend and now she's the one reaching out, seeking help. I just, I feel like I need to know for me. And I just hope that make us, like making me not look crazy, but like I need to know before I be taking shit serious because you not filling in them holes for me, which is also making me feel like, okay, fuck it, you don't care, like. Our decoys, who are also friends of Red, will be hitting on her boyfriend and will be pursuing to get him to come back to their spot. Will Red boyfriend show us all that he's loyal, or will he trade her for a shot with two of her friends? If he find out that I'm doing this shit, he's gonna be mad as fuck. Let's find out now on Jack TV. First and foremost, I appreciate both of you guys for agreeing to come here to the podcast. That was very mature on both of you guys' hand. This was highly requested. The fans wanted to hear from both of you guys. So my, my first question to both of you guys is, what is your relationship status? You want to go first? <laughs> Pending. <laughs> Pending. <laughs> you know, it's like, y'all, it's like, it's hard for me to process what really went down. You know what I'm saying? Knowing like I was a good dude the whole time. You know, but I do still care about her, you know, but it's just, just a lot of holes that got to be filled, you know. What have changed since the test? What changed? Yeah. As far as how you guys move, was you going over there to see her? Like, how have it changed? I mean, we was, it was going from like seeing each other from like almost every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we will probably kick it like, probably like four or five times out of the week, but now it's going it's like less because it's like, like I said... When I said I really needed time, I really needed time. Because it's like, if somebody sent up cameras and a whole camera crew behind your back, it's like, All right. I thought my trust is up here with this person, but now everything is exposed. It's like, well, what else is like, you know, what else is being recorded? What else are you trying to document on my back? Because at the end of the day- Document is crazy. I'm being honest. <laughs> you document it. I did document that. And I think that one, it's like this is a learning lesson not to be putting your business on the internet for show, sure, first of all, but this is one scene, like, and I did this shit for me, but a million people that are not involved with this shit got a bi uh, like a biased answer just off of what they seen, not of what I've seen or been through or felt prior to that. Like, niggas only act off of what they seen in like that little 25 minutes, not none of the shit that happened before or that we talked about before or that... I was suspicious about or asking you about none of that shit. What is one big misconception you feel like that they are trying to perceive you as that's not? Insecure. And that shit did look a little bit insecure, but like everybody thought I should have like been happy. Like I didn't give the reaction that people wanted and they frying my name on the internet for that because of they wanted me to go off of what they seen. They don't know shit about what I felt or what I seen behind the camera shit. Like, they just know okay. what they saw, like, <laughs> type shit. Bro, check this out. I'm playing this game. You get $10 out of, you get $10 out of the first $2 of purchase. The bingo game I showed you? Yes. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Because I'm out here ain't doing nothing, and it actually works, so I'm just, it's crazy. Flabbergasted. So you guys, basically Thomas interrupted the podcast oh, because man. he's playing Blackout Bingo. It's a game where you can earn money playing in skill-based tournaments. You also can make money playing head-to-head. -head. If you want to play this game, make sure you click the link in my description or scan the QR code above. It's very easy to make money on this app, you guys. If you like playing games on your phone, this is the app to download. I'm going to go play right now, bro. It's easy work, bro. All right, bro. Can we finish this podcast, bro? Yeah, my bad. My bad, bro. <laughs> My bad, John. Uh, you you saying they don't know what you've seen or been through behind the camera like I was really putting you through, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, now you got your answer and you saw your answer in your own two eyes. How do you feel? Like, what's like, what your newer self feel now based on what I you saw? I feel like that shit was a little bit embarrassing, but I felt like, fuck it, like it happened. Was that also embarrassing for you? Definitely. So her like being her being in the driver's seat and kind of initiating everything, reaching out to me and put her to the test, and she's getting like I guess negative negative backlash from whoever. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel for her to have to like endure that? 
Mm, do you want? Do you feel comforting? Do you want to be in that space, or how do you, how do you feel about that? How do I, how do I, how do I feel about her receiving yeah. backlash? Yeah, because it was twelve days ago. Everything is fresh. So how do how do you? What are those emotions like? Seeing people come at her a certain way. Do you feel like you are? You still feel like you want to be in that space as to where you want to console her, comfort her, or how how do you look at that? Um, that's a good question. Mm. I got two answers. And mm-hmm. also, I already asked her how do she perceive the people who saying this, some of the stuff that they saying about her. Is it something that you could say as in her defense, you knowing her? Okay. All right. Let me answer question by question. All right. So for the first question, uh, I want to say um, for the first question, I want to say that day, like the first couple of days after the video. Mm-hmm. I didn't really care about her receiving backlash Mm -hmm. because I was still processing the whole thing on my own. Mm -hmm. And she was also receiving backlash from me and how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Because like you, like I said, like we was actually like pursuing something and like I had like big surprise for her, everything. And you just put me on the test behind my back, which I have a lot of questions and we talked about it, you know, but at the time I really didn't care about her receiving backlash. Mm -hmm. But now like, the week and a half later, you know, days later, you know what I'm saying, it kind of grew on me. It's like, all right, because uh, I, I care about her. So it's like, I don't really want people like talking down about her and making her, mm-hmm. paint her like like a clown, you know? Because mm-hmm. she's not a clown. All girls got feelings to all girls, you know what I'm saying? If you, if the right, if the guy, if he like doing his job, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, all girls, they gonna have feelings, they gonna have questions, they gonna wanna know stuff, you know? So as of now, uh, I don't think it's nice for everybody to be like talking about her and trolling to her, but at the end of the day, like that's their honest opinion, and that's mm-hmm. what she accepted when she ex- reached out to you. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's not right, but I feel like she has to deal with it. Right. You know. Um, I take this out. I'm playing head tail with somebody. I killed somebody or easy, but take this out. Only been playing thirty minutes, bro. And you got the two on it. Easy thirty minutes, bro. That's crazy. And I won. <laughs> Good shit, fool. Dang, you gonna leave me hanging? Damn, my bad, bro. But like I said, man, if you like playing games on your phone, but you want to earn money while doing it, all you have to do is scan the QR code that you see on the screen or click the link in my description, and it's that easy. Earn money now, man. And then uh, the second question, uh, what was the second question? It was basically like uh, some of the things that they are saying, her being insecure, and basically some of the negative characteristic traits that they're trying to put on her. Uh-huh. What can you say in her defense, knowing her longer than anybody? Mm. <laughs> Okay, uh, um, I don't really know how to answer this question, y'all, but I'm going to try to answer it to my best. Uh, so uh, basically what I get from the question to break it down is mm-hmm. basically you saying like her... Um, She's only on this... She was only perceived in 26 minutes. Yeah. You've known her for way longer than 26 minutes. So nice. what can you positively say in her defense that made... Not persuade nobody to, to perceive her a certain way, but uh-huh. something that they just not they because they don't we don't know her. Uh-huh. So what what is what is what is what is, what is red about? Is she insecure? Yeah. So it, is 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 some of the ways she acted on the video? Is that how she really is, or do you feel like it was just within the situation? Fifty fifty, half of it that's who she really is. You know what I'm saying? But the other half is like. Like what 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 like what was like the cards that was hand handed to elaborate. Like I want to say, like okay, like basically, like compare red the comment section red and the real life red. Mm-hmm. Basically, like the real life red, she cool, good personality, be chilling, be vibing, having fun. You know, she kind of is a little like I'm not gonna say dominant, but like mm, she I always got something to say. Don't play that shit. She like, always got something to say. You know what I'm saying? If it's if I feel like. The shit is rubbing me wrong. I'm gonna say it. If I feel like the shit looks weird, I'm gonna say it. So, can you confirm or deny that it was reasons for me to be suspicious to make me want to do something like this? No. What? Anytime you call me, I answer. You want to kick it? We can kick it. You want to go on a date? We can go on a date. You know what I'm saying? You upset because I'm going out with my partners. I can't. I can go have fun. We can yeah, have fun I too. never said you could have fun. Never made you try to make you not go. I just. Like people be, you feel me? It's nothing good in that club. It's nothing good in that club. So not only the club, because mm-hmm. the club is one of the things that she kind of voiced to me about her reason in the end of putting you to the test. But one of the right. main reasons was birds of a feather flock together. 
And she feel as though the people that you have around you, uh-huh. being that you are the sum of the five people you hang around, they right. just not people that you should have around you because they don't. But you know, that wasn't right. my main reason. And first of all, in the video, I did say that you always be supporting me. And instead mm-hmm. of third, I praised you up. I never just tore you down or was like this a cheating ass nigga. I just say I feel suspicious and I, I feel like it's times where you don't fill in certain holes that I might have. And you may not feel like that. So, and that's okay. But then you should have What are like, some of those holes? Off. Yeah. What are some of those holes, right? Going missing for times like going out all the time like i'd be just chilling but you be saying i can go out so what are you saying you can't be backwards here like do she go do you go out as well sometimes i'd be working my ass off chilling maintaining i'm gonna be honest you know what i'm saying she don't go out as much as me it's just all of that public eye shit and all of that outside shit like any bitch sitting right here that felt like they nigga was lit or popping or popular always in the club always this that and the third content blah 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 views hoes them hoes feel the same way, and it was so many women in the comments spreading hate when these hoes be feeling the same way that I feel. Like, if your nigga is up and he popping, he doing this, that, and the third, that shit is not just not running by your head. And if I'm saying it's inconsistencies, you shouldn't sit here in front of the world and be like, fuck, no, she just tripping. Like, I'm not just tripping. I'm not. Like, and that video kind of did make me look crazy, the way the argument panned out. But like I'm not just no fucking I'm not making shit up. Like I'm not schizophrenic. Like Do you feel like it's a possibility you maybe can like making her feel secure when you do do things like go out to the club, which creates an insecurity? Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like if I'm still coming home to you, is you know what I'm saying? Like for example, if I'm I'll put myself in your shoes, you know what I'm saying? I could be with Lotto or anybody, you know what I'm saying? For example, and if she's coming home, <laughs> a lot of you know what I'm saying, yeah. If she, if she doing her thing, I'm supporting her, everything. But if she come home late, whatever, woo, woo, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because as long as she still come home to me, you know what I'm saying. Three a.m., four a.m., twelve. What? 11, like who? 10. Like, if you was in a relationship with a bitch and she came home at three o'clock every day. That shit would not fly okay. with no nigga. Bro, not if I was day, doing bro. that, chill, bro. Every weekend. <laughs> Coming home, it's the next day, nigga, and I've been at work all day. You feel me? Like no nigga is having that from no female. Like, like we no nobody can literally sit on this podcast and act like I'm tripping for that. Like y'all cannot <laughs> act like that. Nah, like, that yo, shit is not like, okay. But you act like you want to be under me or something. Like nah, you doing that on the video, but behind the cam, you don't be like that, bro. So bro, that's why I be thugging. Bro, being chilling. under you is different than being respectful. I'm not clingy as fucking be. And I don't be blowing your fucking phone up all day. I don't be where you at, where you at, where you at, who you with, who you with, never. It's just a respect, like a like a line that should be there. Like I don't be on your fucking back like no crazy bitch. Like So you just feel like he goes out more than he should? I just feel like you you know what, sometimes it's working shit and who the fuck finna sit here and say don't go get some money? Like people yeah. be outside, like I understand, like that shit comes with a lot of attention, a lot of other little shit, and mm-hmm. you already moving funny in certain ways that I'm a voice into you. Mm-hmm. So like you and then it's just like if I if I get on a, if I bring the cameras out and I'm cussing you out, yelling in the street, oh well, you a crazy bitch, but if I sit here and talk to you like a grown ass woman, you still looking like what the fuck? Like which way is it gonna be? Like Okay, okay. And they ran me down in the comments like, no, I'm not sitting here the craziest fuck. But it's like, the truth, though. It's the truth. The people online, you know what I'm saying? They was about online. what? About everything. You know what I'm saying? You definitely could have took a different route with this. So I want to I wanna ask y'all both, how has this loyalty test impacted you separately and together? Honestly, I, I knew what the fuck it was when I knew I was finna take the shit public. It's going to be views. People got opinions. Mm-hmm. But I feel like then and now... Like, I, I feel like, yeah, I was kind of in the wrong for pulling that, like, just unprovoked. But I feel like the way you react to shit make me feel like, all right, like, don't be hurt. Like, if you sit here and, like, make me look crazy and you don't hear me out, like, that's a red flag to me. Like, and if I might be looking a little insecure, I went to the world to look insecure, you feel me? And mm-hmm. it's like, I went them lengths for you and you to sit here and, like, be like, bitch, what are you talking about? Like, that should make me not want to be with a nigga. Like, at any point, did you acknowledge him actually passing the test though? Because you did remain very, like, a little upset at the entire test, even at parts. Well, there was one part of the test where he was kind of praising you and uplifting you, and you did show signs of, you know, 
that you was excited right. for him to say some of the things that he was saying. But for the most part, even with him passing, you were still kind of like on 10. And I think that's one thing that the audience don't understand that you can kind of give. Yeah. And I feel like it may have been like a little bit of pride because you hopped out the car clowning me. like, And I feel like even because anybody would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. To be honest. But like you... You going above and beyond to make me look bad, then <laughs> and now, like you I'm feeding into the beyond. shit, like when you hired a camera crew. But I said, I'm going but I gave you your praises. I told them why. You, didn't you give feel me? me? And I'm telling you why right now. You didn't give me my praises. Look at the comment section. Fuck the comments. Look at the video. I gave you your praises, and I can at, still at, give what, them now. At what point? When uh, at the beginning of the video or when you say is he gonna pull up, I'm like, yeah, of course he's gonna pull up. He always support me and shit. But it's little inconsistencies that make like that whole love intro, nobody gave a fuck what I said. They just gave a fuck that I hopped out mm -hmm. acting crazy because I got defensive because I felt like you was making me look bad. But I understand that's your reaction too, to being like, What the fuck? Mm -hmm. And then that shit just kinda triggered me because I felt like you was trying to clown me and you might feel like I was trying to clown you. But like I wasn't trying to like disrespect you. I feel like you was trying to disrespect me or paint me to be like or feed into the bullshit of the comments. Like fuck the comments. Mm. These niggas don't know me. You know me. So like And you know me and you know how to do that. And you still did it. So I definitely And that's what I'm saying. Shit saying shit like that make me feel like fuck it. I don't care. Like maybe I shouldn't have even like bothered with that shit. Like So the same question that I asked her, uh -huh. I kind of want you to elaborate a little bit. Like okay. how do you feel that the um loyalty test has impacted you? Mm. Post? Well, I feel like I I feel like I showed a great example of the black community and for the black man, you know. In 26 minutes. Same way y'all don't know me in 26 minutes, you don't know this nigga in 26 minutes. But it doesn't matter. That 26 and you minutes pass, was And I I could give you your flowers for passing. The test got kind of fucked up, but either way you pass. Okay, let's go ahead and touch on that. The test kind of got fucked up. Uh -huh. There's a lot of comments as well saying they feel as though if you did not notice the camera nor the truck following you, okay. that you possibly would have folded. Okay. So what is your response to that? Okay, so my response to this is um, everybody is not green. I apologize if y'all. I apologize if y'all mad that I caught the black truck following me. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. Off these cameras, it's real life. I didn't know I was being recorded or filmed. I'm paying attention to real life. I'm in a reality, as y'all can see. So, so when you first entered the truck, the off rip, you noticed the camera. What yeah. was going through your head when you saw the camera? Like, what did you think? I'm like, camera. I'm like, what the fuck? Why, bro, got a camera in here? I ain't never got no Uber or no black truck, bro. Had a camera. So I'm like, bro, got a camera. Um, that I already kind of ringed the, you know. But mm -hmm. he was like, oh, just for safety. So I'm like, okay, I see cameras like on the dashboard, you know, they record when they driving, but cameras inside, like recording the, mm -hmm. the customers, it's like, hold on now, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm going to harm you? I'm not going to harm you, you know what I'm saying? I pay for your services, you know what I'm saying? Right. So seeing the whole camera thing kind of was like, uh-uh, but then bro was like, it's good, nothing to worry about. I'm like, all right, I kind of relax, you know? So I'm not gonna. At first, like the first like five minutes, I was on high alert though, for, for sure, because sure. I saw that camera raise the flag. I was on alert, but then I just chill, relax, bro. Like you good? I peep the vibe a little bit. I'm like, I'm like, all right, it's cool. Yeah, like, yeah. So I'm not trying to discredit you at all in the way that you performed on like why you in the way that you conducted yourself on the loyalty mm -hmm. test. But I kind of want to ask Red the way that your friends immediately after he saw the camera and then how they immediately started grilling him. <laughs> How did you feel? They reacted to him saying some, I don't need these hoes. I don't want some some along them lines. Like, and that in another way is like disrespecting females. That shit is like, mm. like, okay, you in a relationship with me, you get pissed off, say some crazy shit, maybe, but like going off on some third party hoes, red flag. That's the same red when? flag. I was a red flag for going off on your friends. You Said some shit first to them, and they that little shit they was saying when they Bro, was chirping back to what? you. You said some what, what the fuck? Look, I look like I need these hoes, some shit like nah, that. He was like, and them uh, started. I don't gotta pull them. And then one of them said, <laughs> "That's what he said. I don't, I don't gotta pull yeah, them." And then one said, uh, "We don't want you either." <laughs> you yeah, just trying to. You know what I'm saying? I go lie. Like, but in, I was more so. Video, I was more so talking video, about the point of when they was in the truck and they immediately just started talking and making everything about you. Do you feel like they kind of went about it the wrong way? Too early. I feel like they might have been just pressing too hard. Mm, oh, because you know, because you talking to outside niggas, huh? So you know how to grill a nigga, huh? <laughs> so 
So let's hear it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like, look, look, regardless of the fact you you did some little funny shit, but you come off as the good guy and all that. Oh, why me ass shit? But I might look a little crazy, but I kept it real the whole time. I don't give a fuck what the people say. Gotta, you know what the fuck going on between me and you. Man, I got a question. So a real life genuine question to you, Red. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Cause you were still like even though even after the the dust clearing shit, you would still come at my neck instead of just being like bitch. Like or if you wanted to be with me, then to work this shit out. Or if you didn't want to be with me, then just be like, all right, that shit was too much for me. You'll still sit here and and keep the shit kind of mild and get back on the podcast and try to make me look crazy again. I like low key, I'm not like feeling that shit. Like even if I did, why is it so? Shit, why why is it such an uncertainty in red feeling like you don't want to be with her? I don't know, bro. I'm with you. I just saw I'm you. I'm talking earlier. about. I'm talking about after the loyalty test, right? Of course, red. It was fresh. You just. Had a whole and I'm TV saying, you nigga, following. you had 12 days to just be like, all right, look how I'm not fucking with you. Or be like, yeah, I miss. Or even if you ain't, you should have enough respect for me to get on a podcast and just talk about it. And, and you might feel like, okay, you did the loyalty says you didn't have no respect for me. But oh, like, shit, we here. Like, all and right. I'm sitting here talking to you. Would you rather me go off or would you rather me talk to you or would you rather not talk to me at all? Like, make that shit known. Like, I mean, make that shit known. All right. I mean, just like this is big for you, it's big for me too. You see, like, I'm trying to make eye contact, but it's kind of really hard. You know what I'm saying? Because That's that nice guy shit, all that sad shit. Because, like, just say, bro, bitch, I'm not feeling okay, you. It's, and, it's cool. and we'll call it a day. Man, like, hold on. All that beat around the Let me bush. talk, bro. It's good. So, I want to speak. I'll let you speak. Let me speak. So, it's okay for me to have feelings. I do got feelings. That shit made me upset. That shit hurt my feelings. I thought we was way better than that. And for me to think otherwise, and then for me to be caught in 4K, really not even caught, but recorded in 4K, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people will freak out and, you know, it's hard for me to process that. But I still gave you conversation. I didn't fully blow you off. I didn't go be with another girl. And I'm still here today, right now. So okay, but I'm upset, but I still care me. about you're you. You're not just talking to me. You jabbing me. like just. So yeah, have y'all have y'all not had a, a real conversation since? Nah, not really. She been trying to talk, but I ain't really been trying to like, you know, like, because it's like, yeah, I still got feelings. I still got feelings. And what you did really hurt me, for real. Like, I'm not acting like you don't have feelings. And it's like, okay, you can share them feelings. And you feel me? We talk about it. But if you jabbing me, like I'm, you feel me? Like you just like the people. Mm -hmm. The fuck? Like, you know me personally. Them niggas is going to say whatever. But you jabbing me and you'll feed into the comments and shit and, and laugh along with that shit, follow along with that shit. If you was really hurt about that shit, you wouldn't be playing about that shit. So it's been 12 days since we actually dropped. So why why haven't it been one of those type of conversations between you guys? Do y'all feel like y'all have good communication or no? Nah. Why 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 not? I, like, I'm still questionable about the whole thing. That's why it's really kind of like... Hard for me to look at her. Like, yeah, you look good. You pretty. You like, because that should just be but giving in genuine. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll try to reach out, but I'm not going to force it because you don't be giving genuine anyways. Like, I don't give genuine. So, okay. So, some of the red flags that you, you mentioned, him like jabbing you with the people that's in the comments, him not being genuine, the inconsistencies with him and how he act. What are some things that allowed you to want to do this test and, and want to make you? Stay if everything that you're saying is um, the opposite. Like, you're asking me, why do I want to stay? Yeah. I kind of don't. and I'm, But I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to leave before you leave me because I'm not because I tried to reach out to you and talk to you. But, like, all of that shit is just, like, for some, if I was honestly hurt, mm -hmm. would I be in the comments giggling and shit with folks? Like, mm -hmm. if some shit actually hurt you, would I be with that shit? Hell right. no. no. I have not what? made one joke. I have not posted this shit. I have not... Said what well, did one thing to make you look bad or crazy. I just said how I felt and why I did what I did. And you pulling out all, all these like calling me names and shit. Like I don't, I'm not doing that shit. Who's to you. calling you names? You uh, literally called me a joke comments? on the last fucking video. You're posting this shit. Like no, like that's not what hurt people do. That's not what somebody who's actually hurt by some shit do. That's entertainment. Like that shit is entertaining you. Mm. At the end of the day, you hired this camera team, so baby, you want to entertain me, okay? So corny. Well, That's not what someone says when they're actually hurt about some shit. 
Well, if I'm, I was actually I'm hurt, man, like I, I'm the one looking hurt because I'm actually sitting here trying to say, like say something, you're j- hey, making jokes and shit. Like this is the hey. type of shit I don't play <laughs> that you try to be like, oh, I'm doing too much, doing too much. When a nigga try to play with you like that, and this is why we don't have good communication. Right, because women, women are emotional. Women goes off emotion, man. I go off logic. You know what I'm saying? I don't give I a don't fuck if you want to be with a bitch, then you're gonna logic. accept that. Like, right. So I kind of wanted to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. That was not to cut you off, Red. That was within the video. Mm-hmm. Did you ever feel like at any time? This is one of the comments that I've seen a lot of. Mm-hmm. Did you ever feel at any time that the decoy was trying to set you up? <laughs> yeah. Like, and if so, what, at what point? Like when she just too much pressure. Like and then when the car was behind me and I noticed it, she's trying to make me like unnotice it, and it's like, like okay. <laughs> you tripping? Like, well, what are you here for? You know what I'm saying? Are you really hurt, friend? Like, I just start questioning everything because I don't know about other guys or the audience, but it's about me. So whenever things get serious in reality, mm-hmm. I gotta really adjust, you know. Mm-hmm. And at first, I was chilling, and she kept coming with these conversations, conversations I was not trying to talk about. Then when I noticed something off, and she noticed that I noticed some off, she's trying to get me to relax, and it's like, bro, why are you trying to get me to relax? For if sure. I notice I'm off, if you really fucking with me or you care about me, you're going to be like, oh, he noticed I'm off? Well, let me look the, on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Let me look on the other side to make sure we good. You want some chill, lay back, woo-woo. Um, bro, what? Nah. Sure. So, if any, what kind of like, um, how did this kind of affect anybody that that's around y'all in real life as far as family members and friends that's seen this? I'm not gonna lie, like just it didn't really affect like me or my people. No, it just like people from my high school and people that know me like when I was younger, just like trolling, just giving off negative energy. But I don't really care too much about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But what about you, Ray? Mm, like about my people and shit. Yeah. Like my people. It didn't really affect them either. Oh, uh, it's more so friends and shit. Kind of feel like. Everybody in my business, mm-hmm. which right. I hate, but like because of you, I, I kinda, how you like, hate it? First of all, I understand like what I signed up for. I knew what the fuck was gonna go on, but it's still like maybe not the attention I need. Right. And but I'm blinded by caring about a nigga that's trolling me too with the people that I'm going out bad on. The, on the, you mm-hmm. feel me? But like I feel like it is what it is. Cause and if they see this shit. Like they going I feel like people will understand more. I feel like the way the video kind of played out, it just was kind of like, okay, this whole tripping. But I feel like this would be my my time to speak and people to actually understand, cause a lot of women, like I, that's the, it's that for me. Like niggas, all of the niggas that was in the comments talking bad was in my DMs too. Like, oh, right. you're fine for real in real life and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, too. I got a question too. No caps about but like, that. It, it was the women spreading so much hate and saying like, oh, uh, you can get that nigga to me. Bitch, if I just said I feel like this nigga cheating on me, bitch, you want to take him. Like, y'all hoes, is, that shit is crazy for women right. to hate on women that much. It is what it is, though. Feel or what you seen? What are you talking about? I'm asking you. You said if you're going off what you feel or what you've seen because you've recorded me. You could feel thousands of different type of ways, but... If you're recording somebody unwillingly and they react a different type of way, you got to let go of what you feel. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> so you're basically, you saying? Saying, you're basically saying like by you like passing the test, you show her? Yeah. You, so her like the way she felt should have went out the window once you passed the test? Definitely, 100%. Because if I was in your shoes, if I thought you was cheating or fucking with anybody, you anything. Would've, you wouldn't have even went the them test, lengths to make sure. And if you I would have put you on the test and, and you didn't know you were on the test and I'm watching you live in another car and you passing, but when I get out the car and confront you, I'm not even, all that feeling shit I felt is out the window. And honestly, it could have been that if I didn't feel like you was trying to disrespect me. And I feel like you, you could take that, like, okay, you could take me doing that as disrespect, but like, you're disrespectful, bro. Like. I'm not okay. coming at you. I didn't call you a this ass nigga, that ass nigga. You were this, that, and the third. Like, I don't play with you. I'm not even playing with you now. I'm sitting here talking to you. You're still jabbing. You disrespecting me. That me. shit is corny. You disrespecting me. You're jabbing me. me though. You disrespecting like, me, your man. You never supposed to disrespect your man ever. 
And so your, what the fuck is you get out the car saying and, joke? You're a joke. That's not respect. That's not what you do to bro. your bitch. And even then, if I went them lengths for you, you would try to hear me out if you actually gave a fuck. But you're trying to you're trolling. You're trolling. That's that's that shit. Is honestly. I mean, good. for one, like, I'm good. Like I'm gonna be honest here. My reaction, a hundred percent, could have been completely different off camera. You know what I'm saying? Meaning you what? feel like the cameras played a part in how you reacted? Man, the cameras definitely played a part of how I reacted. Definitely. What would you have done differently if the cameras wasn't there? What? Definitely spaz or react differently. Like, you like know what? me. What you mean? Like, like what? Like what? Like, I could have really like let you know how I felt, but I did a little bit on camera, but not enough to embarrass you because at the end of the day- And you could have did it I was camera. upset at this moment. At the end of the day, I was upset at that moment, but we were being recorded. But from that moment, I still reached out to you. You still could have showed me how the fuck you felt. You can still now. Your friend has respected you. You don't think your friend was coming on to me way too much? Or I, mean, I asked her to do that shit. You asked her to do that? Yes. It's not about the ones I've seen on camera. It's about the ones that go unseen. The little shit you do in them times you go missing that sh little shit behind the scenes. Mm. It's about the end. You don't give a fuck to fill in no holes and then you pay me for crazy or insecure for asking you about that shit that's not insecure. That's you not doing your shit mm. as a man, nigga. So did you ask your friend to text me after the loyalty test? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you didn't, I don't give a fuck about this shit because I Wait, don't want to be with you. Like this is Wait, the shit what? that I'm talking about. Trying to embarrass me. How trying to embarrass me. You act like you're trying to embarrass me. Oh, your friend texting me. Your friend texting me. You're not your friend, disrespecting me. I didn't disrespect you. I don't you. give a fuck if she did because I don't want to be with you now. Did she? Like, so you're here? trying to clown me right now. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> she, she talking about I disrespect her. She texted baby. you? Yes. Baby, I what? didn't disrespect you. You need to check your friends. They disrespect As a grown ass you. man. I, no, they, you, you no, they saw here, I was a good nigga. You get on here. As they saw. And you trying to clown me still. I'm That's not clowning not, you. Fuck the relationship. Fuck, fuck all of that cool guy shit. When somebody care about somebody, they're not finna get in this bitch and be like, oh, your friend texting me, right? Mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Nigga, if you was hurt about that shit, you would mm -hmm. be hurt. You don't give a fuck, so just act like it. Just, Man, I mean, you uh, acting like it, but just claim it. Like, 50 -50. you not hurt. You're not that fucking hurt, because all this trolling and joking and shit and all that getting back and all that trying to jab me ass, sorry ass shit, like, that's not what hurt people do. Like, that shit is crazy. <laughs> 50 -50. And they, they'll make me seem so crazy on the internet, but like, this is that shit I'm talking about. This Man. is why communication ain't right. And this is why I'm looking upside your head. That's why I pulled that shit. But honestly, no, I do not feel like it was worth it. So, Red, for somebody watching this right now, female um, watching this right now, thinking they, that they want to put their guy to the loyalty test, what is something from your experience that you could tell them or get them advice about? Um, If you're going to take it there, just know that everybody is going to be in your business. I would do this if there's something that you're ready to deal with. I would do that if you feel like you can handle all the shit. People were saying crazy shit, DMing me crazy shit. I feel like if you don't have the mindset to just move past that shit. And I will also say, if you if you deep down you know that nigga ain't shit, you don't have to go out bad on the internet. Just be done with that nigga behind the scenes. Don't don't let everybody see. Just look stupid in peace and be done. And, and get all right. Your so shit and let me ask you this too. So if you saying like if you know. Was you speaking towards him when you said, you know, deep down niggas ain't shit? No, I, I'm not saying- <laughs> you just saying like in general? I'm saying if you know deep down that your nigga is not for you or if he moving some ways and you're confirmed about that shit, then just make your move. If you're not confirmed, just try to have a conversation with a person before it get out of hand. And if that person do not care to show you the respect in a conversation mm -hmm. to make you feel fulfilled, then that person doesn't want to be with you and you don't have to get on the internet and let everybody know that that person doesn't want to be with you. All right. All right, so you saying niggas ain't shit, but do you think I'm shit? With you, with you. Oh, you think I'm not <laughs> I'm shit? I'm not saying niggas ain't shit. We took I'm saying if you think that your nigga ain't shit, is that what I think? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like maybe... It's a it's a it's a possibility to where you could not be cheating on me. I never play like you don't support me or you don't be looking out for me, making sure I'm straight, making sure I'm feeling good, got my head on straight. Never play that shit. I'm saying it's the shit you lacking on. And if if everything else was so fucking good, why would you not care to fix a, some little shit? This is petty shit. This is not groundbreaking shit. Your life is not ruined for this shit. But like you didn't lose no money for this shit. No friends, no family, nobody died. Like this my was somebody, privacy, my privacy. What? This what is about one situation that don't matter now, because this shit won't be going nowhere after this. Oh really? Yes, really. 
Okay. So yeah, where do where where do where do where like what's in the future for I, TC and Red? I cannot be with no nigga who would jab me and troll me. And honestly, even if you was moving out of hurt for that shit, I could understand. But like, this is a real conversation right here. Like, period. Okay, but yet again, it's on camera. What you mean? So, nigga, you, you showed up here and did this shit. What because are you I care about? about you. I care about you. That's what you want to hear? Do you feel okay. like it was a lose-lose situation on, on his end? Like, what do you I mean? I feel like it was a lose-lose because I feel like, but I just feel like if I didn't do it, we I wouldn't be able to be confirmed that I do or do not want to be with a person. I feel like for me to just sit here and keep guessing is crazy. Like nobody should have to do that. If, right. if that person don't want to clear it up, then fuck it. Okay. Like I'm not going to sit here and keep guessing and you don't give a fuck to make it confirmed or not. Off camera, every other situation that did not happen on YouTube. Like nobody right. gave a fuck about that, but nobody's seen that. And it's like, that's why the comments don't really fucking matter because you know what's up and you will still sit here and try to play with me if everything was so good and sweet, such a cool person, you really care about that person. You don't do that shit. I did not do you that. You might have felt like I embarrassed you, but I did not do you that. I did not jab you once. I did not call you a name. I did not gang up with no motherfucker talking shit about you or me to, to push that shit on or egg that shit on never once. I did not sit on this podcast not one time and call you a this or that or generalize or be ingenuine about nothing I said. So mm. yeah, you, I'm you, good. You look you look good, baby. Yeah. That's <laughs> just <laughs> crazy. But what I'm not gonna say thank you. What? You look nice. What? Y'all are so confusing. <laughs> like a lot. Confused. So uh it's like and you keep saying why I keep smiling like I'm trolling you or trying to fake something. I'm not trying to fake nothing. It's cause I'm different. I handle with my emotions different. Yeah, I care all this other stuff, but I laugh and smile to keep out of my feelings. You know what I'm saying? So that's I'm, your coping. Yeah, that's your way to cope. I'm not finna be on here sad, crying and on some man. I'm not doing that, bro. Being, you don't have to be I'm sad to be genuine. Smile, and have like, a conversation. You don't have to be sad. If you were smiling and solving the fucking problem, I wouldn't have said nothing about it. So this is something that you can't forgive her for. <laughs> you why do you always smile when I ask you the question? Shit is a joke. So it's is this like, what she mean when she say you like inconsistent? Like, do you always do this like off camera as well? Yeah, I Can smile. You, yeah, I do. Why that. you don't ever give a straight answer though? Because I don't know. That's just like, me. Who? First, I'm a happy person. You know this. I'm a happy person. I like to smile, laugh. That's just me. Okay, shit could be you funny, know? but sometimes shit get real. Like I'm it's a, not okay. always time for laughs and shit. Like <laughs> if it's something matter to me, I'm not finna laugh about that shit. But <laughs> neither would you probably like. Answer the question. I mean, I'm like, a Gemini. Real. I just gotta laugh about real shit. You know what I'm saying? Answer the question. Gemini don't wait, have wait, nothing wait, to do on. with not making your bitch complete. Nothing. Why you won't answer the question? Wait, all right, what's the question? What's the question? <laughs> Is this something that you can't forgive Red for? It? Now I can get I can definitely forgive her for this, you know? I definitely can. But she off camera she hasn't shown me other otherwise of why I should, you know. You haven't shown me you care. You literally like like, you know what I'm saying? You didn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? I tried to reach out to you a few times. I'm not finna blow your shit. Two times? So yeah. before the loyalty test, you was feeling away? No, before the loyalty test, I was I was happy. I was excited. So what you mean by she don't show you that you care? I was excited for our anniversary, everything. I'm not you know showing that I care. You're not showing that you care. Like you wasn't like checking them. Like you, yeah, you checked on me two times, but this video been published for like how long now? Two days out of twelve days. You know what I'm saying? Two days out of twelve days. What is that? If I'm in your shoe, baby, I'm sorry. I'm calling you every day. What do you need me to do? How can I make you feel better? Okay, and honestly, what? I would have did that if you wasn't trolling. Or trying to clown me on cam, or try, you feel me? Like nobody Jack, she doesn't that get shit. it. Jack, she clown me. No, first. nigga, you don't get it. You clown okay, me but first. you might have felt clown. What? But I just I explained why I did what I did, and it wasn't to make you look crazy. Like this was for me to be confirming. But you got out the car, talk about oh, bitch, you were joking. This, that, and the third. That is, it's a difference. It's a difference. Okay. I feel like both of y'all are very prideful. Okay, and y'all got egos, so that's why y'all can't have a <laughs> but conversation. But I can say it. I can say. You got out the car trying to clown me and my pride got hurt and I started going off uh. and didn't get the folks the reaction they wanted. And I got pissed off instead of being like, you know what, you passed the test because you passed one test. These hoes don't know what I've been through, what I've seen and felt or you talked about. Nothing, what bro. about the shit that I talked about this nigga do this shit that he doing smiling and shit? That shit is not funny to me. If a if a nigga is cheating on his bitch, what is what is she finna laugh about? But a nigga wasn't smiling. cheating on you though. That's the whole point. I wasn't though. Yeah. That's why I thought the current said you was a joke. I don't feel like. So listen, I don't let me feel say like something. that's confirmed. Like that's not hundred percent confirmed. Like 
What? It's not a hundred percent. There's no proof of that. I cannot win. Comments. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? In I one situation to where this. we we were slipping, that shit was not foolproof, and it's not a hundred percent confirmation. So you send yourself up once again for them to joke about you in the conversation. Fuck what they joke about. I'm you telling you said, how I feel, and you joking too, nigga. But you like just, what? Let's, like let's, let's be serious. Let's like, think come clear here, though. Let's think clear. You just said that little t test does not mean nothing. That don't that don't prove no point. That don't solve nothing. But it was a loyalty test that you recorded that I wasn't aware of. I, no, I'm saying and I passed. I'm not saying it don't so, matter. So listen, one I'm question: the Are you upset that I passed? Are you upset? Yes, or no. That no. I passed. No, you're not upset. Okay, but I am upset you put me on there. Okay, so but I'm like kind of getting over it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still upset. Okay, but you're not upset that I passed it. So you need to all them feelings and shit. You need to let it go. All the shit I used to do or whatever. You need to let it go because I passed. What you mean by I used to do? He's like, saying that she, since he he passed this test that we were slipping on, I should say fuck everything that I felt prior to leading up to the video that made me do this shit yeah. in the first place. Since Why I the passed, fuck would I forget that? Since Why I would passed, I forget Red, that shit? Red, since I passed, let's focus on the future. You saying you want You playing in listen, my face right now, nigga. Okay, but I'm here because I care, bro. I didn't have to show up. I didn't I could be calling to you. I'm not calling to you. I'm just trying to You are speak though. Sense. You're trying to, you trying to but be funny. Like it gotta make sense. I'm not trying to be funny. It gotta make sense though. It has to make sense. This four since I passed, let's talk about the positive. Since I passed, not failed, I passed. Let's talk about how we're gonna build and grow. You know what I'm saying? Let's not continue to have excuses of why I passed or have excuses of why. What, fuck all that. At the end of the day, I passed. We're not not knowing be, I was on camera. We're not so be you should have said, you know what, but you passed off the camera. You passed. Let's focus on right now since you passed. Now I know I can trust you. Let's focus on our future. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you're not saying but that. I don't know that. You okay? But and I you pass. don't give a damn to make me feel okay, like listen. I should know that shit. Okay, what listen. do you? What can he do to get you to feel like to know that? I mean, like, I feel like honestly, right now is like, like no. Let's just let's just get to it. Yeah, let's like get to what? It. Let's get to what? it. All right, can I say something hypothetically? Go ahead. All right, so listen, so listen. All right, can I see your hand? Can I see your hand? It's that shit you're trying to be funny. I'm not. Can I see with your hand? Funny listen. Jokes. Okay, like, listen, 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 listen. I'm not your enemy here. Okay. You put me on the test because what I was doing and how I made you feel, that's okay. I apologize. But since I passed with flying colors, you know what I'm saying? I read the conversation since I passed. <laughs> and you and you also acknowledged to me I passed. You know what I'm saying? I apologize for how I made you feel, but how can we go forward? If you want to go forward. Now, do you want to go forward? Yes or no? What you want to do? You let me know. I don't know. I feel like I, I... I don't fuck with girls that don't know what they want with well, me. Well, nigga, then you don't fuck with me. Because <laughs> I, I can't be sure. What's, what, where do your doubt and uncertainty come from? You're, Thank you. Nigga, Are you playing in my what? face? Like, am I tripping? What? Like, is this nigga not cracking jokes? Like, nigga, this is not a comedy club. Well, this is supposed to be us. If you wanted to move forward, nigga, you would act like you playing. Was that genuine? Shit. Was the hand That's That was not genuine. Did that I shit was not, not just genuine. Try to... That shit was not genuine. I cannot win. You're not genuine. Imagine you're this not is, being genuine. This is on and camera, Jack. Imagine dumb. on camera. I'm Jack. I'm not gonna play dumb for you. I'm not gonna play dumb for the viewers. You're playing in my motherfucking face. I don't so know what fuck. does what does a that's serious crazy. TC look like? That's crazy. I don't know. That's and that's just why this is the shit I'm talking about. If I sit here and say, "Look, babe, I, some shit is making me uncomfortable. I feel like you always doing this and that. You coming home too late and this. <laughs> what are you talking? And I'm <laughs> like, I don't want to hear that shit. Right, I don't want to hear that shit. Right, listen. That is not a confirmation to me. This I, test came back, if we being honest, inconclusive because we fucked the test up. This how? shit was inconclusive. How we fucked it up? We fucked it up. I ain't gonna lie, this I take accountability. Inco- this shit was inconclusive. What? I'm gonna so take I'm full accountability for some of the things in the test being inconclusive. And the only reason why I'm gonna I'm just agree with her side a little bit okay. because you did notice the camera. Okay. That was a big red flag. Okay. Big red flag. Kinda. Yeah. On top okay. of that, adding to you noticing the camera, you saw the van behind you. Okay. So that's just... But it wasn't like boom, boom. Even if you wasn't trying to fuck with Shorty, you wouldn't been in the mindset to fuck with Shorty if you felt like you was getting set up. Okay. Whatever the case may be. <laughs> I'm not taking nothing away from you though at okay. all. You passed. But... My bad, Jack TV. I feel like it ain't no but. I pass, I pass. There ain't no but. I see where my, I see where she coming from, but I also see where the audience yeah. coming from, and I also don't want to discredit you in yeah. passing the test as well. But I do. We can't ignore the fact that it is yeah. some of the shit was faulty. Okay, all right. One all big right. thing. I do say, one big thing they uh, said in the comments as well though is that I should never use your friends. Do you feel? Do you feel like? Yeah. You, you should have hired them hoes at the club, and your ass probably would have folded. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, ma'am. Thought I was laughing at that. No, you what? laughing at everything? And I'm not serious. playing behind my girl. I'm the not. one motherfucking hey, talk cracks joke. You look, serious? Listen, this girl, future girl, next girl. I'm not playing about no girl. You know what I'm saying? If you loyal to me, I'm loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce can come. I'm gonna just Bro, ask but for. I was loyal to you, and you not. I didn't cheat though. To... But I want to take accountability okay, for the look, test. Look, look for the test. Let me say one that. thing. The test, the camera. Okay, when I first got in the car, the camera raised the red flag. Okay, it was, but that did not jeopardize the test at all. People have cameras in their car. Yeah, that's why we put it in there. Yeah, so me you seeing that camera. Some, I don't know why a driver would be recording a customer. <laughs> like what? <laughs> nah, like yeah. nigga, no, like. It's fine. Like honestly, it's I nah. See, like I, I dead ass, Uber we dead ass decided to put the camera in there because I've actually rode in one before and it was one right there. So I didn't uh, think it would. Uh, I also saw a, a camera like that too in Uber, but you don't see those often, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't see those often, definitely. You know what I'm saying? But they are definitely normal. You know, okay. and especially in a black truck, there are really like no inside cameras. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I kind of raised a flag there because I'm like black truck. Camera, but the following yeah. part, the following part, that was really? just the your the driver was driving too fast. Tom was driving too fast, and it was hard to keep up. Honestly, so that's but what that's that was. Crazy though, I really just tried to. I really put my pride to the side, and I really when? tried to be a man and just tell you how I feel, and try to really take lead and start a new leaf. And you declined it, kinda. You kind of like kind of took me as a joke, and now I don't really like. But that. I ain't gonna lie, in her defense, you kind of do come off as a joke. I don't know. When you, I don't know. I don't. I don't no, I didn't. No, no, no disrespect. Yeah. I just don't know when you plan a series. Yeah. Like, and and I've never. I'm and I've never had a conversation with you. Even me, like putting the video together and seeing you interact. Yeah. I ain't never seen this side of you. So yeah. meeting you for the first time, oh. it do come off like you kind of is trolling and playing. I don't got time for that. Shit. No, for real. I don't. Play. And I think maybe maybe you need to be a little bit more serious because. That's probably some of the inconsistencies. It's kind of like you give her an unsure feeling, unsure vibe. Okay. Kind of like you don't care, kind of. Because we I not do care though. I do care. Yeah. And I am. I do care. I am here. Like you said, I let it be at the club. I let it be out. I and and I just think you should something. be more accepting of how he actually is. If he's like this all the time, then you have to. I just feel like you have to accept how he actually is and take that in consideration that he just got this. Demeanor about itself that seems playful, but he may be serious at times. Thank time. you. So please, Red, don't try to play on these cameras like I'm not. I like this off off camera. I do be smiling and be happy and be good energy. I don't energy. want a nigga to so. be unhappy. I just don't need a nigga smiling in my face when I'm coming to you as your bitch to tell you that some shit is making me uncomfortable that you're doing. And I don't need a nigga that's playing about me. So... If if it's funny and shit, I think you should go get you a fucking funny ass bitch. I don't think that I'm the one for you then, because when I'm, when it's something serious and or if to me, if something seriously hurt me, I would never joke about it. I would never troll you, and if you if I hurt you for real, I would never sit up on here in this in this hoe and try to play you. Even right. like right now, if you felt hurt about some shit I did, I have not cracked one joke about it or made it seem ingenuine on my end. Now you're right. I agree. But maybe you need a bitch that's. Not worried about a nigga being serious or not. Nah, I want to say you're right. I agree. You're right. If me smiling a lot make you feel away, I apologize. That's that shit. What? What? Bro, what? Make me smiling a lot is not making me feel away. When I'm telling you I have a problem and you're playing in my face, that's making me feel away. Okay, let's You talk about smiling it. is not making me feel away. You're twisting the shit to make me look stupid. Like, hell no, nah, I don't want no nigga like that. Okay, wait, wait. Explain that one more time. You're saying, okay, I'm sorry if me laughing and smiling is making you feel away. That's not what the fuck is happening. Mm. I'm telling you I have a problem with some shit you're doing that's making me feel uncomfortable in this relationship and you're playing in my face. That is not me mad that you're being happy. All right. That's playing in my face. Right now, you're doing it. So, right. no, I would not want to be with nobody doing that shit. So, what is, what, what is the definition of playing in somebody's face? Me being serious and trying to be an adult and talk to you after I made you feel hurt. Allegedly hurt, and me sitting here and actually trying to have a conversation, and you're cracking jokes and trolling it in the comments, and you feed into the bullshit. That's playing in my face. Me being serious right now, you're you're making jokes and shit. Mm, okay. That's playing in my face. Okay, so let's get to it then. Let's talk about. It. Let's get serious. So, what are the things that I'm doing? You said me smiling and stuff is not making you feel away. So, what are the things that I do that make you question anything? Going out to the club. 
going I'm, missing. I'm late, going, coming in but late. going missing, let's be specific. What is going missing? Going hours and hours without responding to the bitch that's waiting up for you. And you want to come home early in the morning? Like, what? <laughs> that is crazy. Like, what? And I just got off work all day to go get home and be with my nigga. He in a club with some hoes. So what, what's your sense. response to that? My response to that is, okay, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Hearing how you say it, hearing it. But it's not the first hearing time you it heard it. Is, hearing it is, all right, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I could be selfish and only care about myself and my entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And not caring about your own entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I am but if and if that's the if that was the case, that's fine. But then you just need to say you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody. You don't need to I have mean, a bitch trying to chase you around with a camera when you telling her some shit. Just say, bitch, I don't want to be with you like that. And a bitch won't even be worried. Like what? And then play me for crazy. Like just say, bitch, we not doing all of that. So you don't need to be worried about what I'm doing in the club because we not at that level. But you make it seem like we at that level. But are we? Mm. That makes sense. Mm, good question. Mm. Are you? Are we? Mm. And if you care about a nigga for real, it would be a simple answer. One, two, three. Right. Like, what's up? Quickly, <laughs> quickly. I actually don't know how to answer because, like, all right. And this is why I listen, feel how I feel. Hear me simple. Out. Like, y'all can't you talk. call me crazy. Hear me out. Hear me I'm out. clearing your. Okay. Hear me <laughs> out. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. <laughs> okay. So earlier, you know what I'm saying? When I grabbed your hand and I spoke with you and I apologized and I'm like, okay, let's turn over a new leaf. Let's talk about the positive things. You weren't trying to hear that shit. Oh, I don't want to fuck with you. I'm over with that shit really dead. I already know how. But then you say you want to fuck with me, but then you say you don't. So it's like, I don't know which answer to give you. It seems like y'all both are prideful. So it's only like she wants to fuck with you if you want to fuck with her, and vice versa. <laughs> That's what it feel like. It feel like I want to fuck with you if- Only if he yeah. wants to fuck with you. No. No. I don't want no nigga that's unserious or not sure what you want to do and you feel me? No nigga playing around. What part am I unserious about? So I can get serious about that part for you. You're trolling me. I want to give you your reassurance. You feel like you're trolling you right now? No, not right this second, but on this podcast, yes. And I feel like you just said, oh, I, I might be right. You don't want to be serious all the time. You want to smile and shit. Go get you a bitch that's going to have you let you smile all day and and be in genuine love. But just because I'm smiling does not mean I'm not genuine or nor I don't care. I don't agree but with I that. I just don't see how niggas so happy if his feelings are so hurt. <laughs> like what? good question, good question. Because I cope with my feelings differently. Okay, That's the answer. Maybe, maybe. That's the answer. But your answer was valid, though. I just never been hurt and cracked a smile, like deeply hurting my soul, and just start giggling. I mean, I'm actually laughing because it's like, bro. At the end of the day, I ain't hearing. It. Fuck the comments. Really fuck what you saying. I pass it in the day, so I'm not the and enemy. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not Why the enemy I want to be a nigga you know who just sat here and said, fuck what I'm saying? No, not fuck what you saying. I apologize. You just said that. That wasn't the right thing to say, but basically it's kind of like all that extra nonsense. I'm, it's not nonsense. All that extra talk is like, let's talk about the positive. Let's talk about the solution, the outcome. We talk, We going back in the past. I'm off that shit. But it's not The video has been posted. We, we're here today to talk about our future, the outcome. We're not talking about the solution. Like you be contradicting yourself. I'm not a contradiction. Because you just said, you said it just said, happened not... 12 days ago, nigga, I'm still hurt. Like, I'm why still you not hurt, calling that... me to check up on me? Okay, I'm still hurt, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm not finna dwell in that shit. Every single day, I'm not finna wake up, oh, she put me on loyalty test, I'm sad as fuck, man. No, I'm waking up getting to it. Reality, my life is still going on. No matter if you so calling me or not. No matter if you calling me so or not, my, my, my life is still going on. Man, honestly, it's, you know it's less stressed now when I'm not dealing with worried about if a nigga's playing with me or not. Okay. Life is good. I'm less stressed. Uh, getting to it. Was getting to it then and still getting to it. What you mean it. getting to it? Like what? You're, to me are you playing? To it. Are you playing to with me? To me getting to getting it, Getting to it, nigga. I go to work and school every day and I be genuine with the motherfuckers around me that I care about. I never play with you. Never play with a person I actually care about. Never sit up on this hoe trying to joke about some shit that actually hurt me to for you to be like that shit hurt you. Man, I've been genuine too. Okay. You just don't like that I'm ha kind of happy with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fine. I don't gotta be on this bitch pouring down tears and mm -hmm. doing all that to prove to you that my feelings are hurt. I don't have to do that. I'm telling you. So that's enough. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My so do I hurt. feel like y'all definitely got shit to sort out. I really don't know where this is gonna go. Y'all uh -huh. are very interesting <laughs> people. Uh -huh. I really appreciate both of y'all for coming. But uh -huh. we're gonna go ahead and close this out. Uh -huh. So what you what you think, Jack? We didn't ask you what you what what, what do you what think? What do I think? Outside looking in. Pros and cons for both of us. 
I just feel like y'all have bad communication. Okay. Y'all both could be proper at times when speaking with each other or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all both be proper and, and have egos. But I feel like she don't take you serious. Mm-hmm. And you come off like that. Mm-hmm. But she, if she wants to take you serious, then she has to be acceptance of that's just how you are. But yeah. did everything I just said, not this whole time with you, did not just come off genuine. No, I did. Like I just told the truth yeah. about everything. And but, that shit was not the vibes from. I don't, I don't know. know, y'all. We it need. It should need to be off camera at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode on Jack TV. Until next time, Jack off.